welcome to a new video. Sorry I'm squinting, it's a very sunny, it's a lovely, beautiful summer's day. So, <laughs> so we are back in the Cotswolds. So if you saw my last video, it would have been our first Cotswolds trip, which if you watched it, you'll know we had to come back a bit early. So we've come back, it's actually four weeks later, but I was so behind with my edits. We're back and we are now at Woodchester Park, a National Trust place, it's our first stop of the, of the trip. We're not going away for so long this time. We've just got three nights, four days, and filling in those gaps that we didn't do last time. And this is this. This is a just a walk in a lovely old park. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I was just laughing because Merlin is scared of the balloon. <laughs> and this is a, an unfinished Victorian mansion. I think there's only a cafe in here. I don't think there's like rooms to see or anything like that. But still pretty cool. Worth a walk down to. had a nap Merlin's had a nap and he is <laughs> loving life right now because he's off the lead we can we sort of let him off the lead here and uh, he's loving having a good run around this Roman villa so we've come to this is great Whitcomb Roman villa quite a lot of you can really see the shape of it anyway a lot more here than at a lot of Roman villas yeah so uh, Woodchester Park was where we went this morning didn't realize the house there was so much to see at the house actually the house itself isn't National Trust so there was no information about it in the handbook so we didn't really allow enough time there but it was okay because we were sort of only there to stretch Merlin's legs, get him sort of used to being away from home. Then we had lunch at the Jolly Nice farm shop near Painswick. It was Jolly Nice and it had Jolly Nice prices. <laughs> we were thinking about going to Cheltenham, but to be honest, it seemed like a shopping centre rather than a, a touristy place to look around. So we decided to give it a miss and we've come straight to this Roman villa. I think that's all we're doing today, a nice sort of gentle day to get us going on this little trip. Can't believe how beautiful the weather is. We are very, very lucky. I can't believe it's lasted this long. We've had this week, whole week of no rain at least, and I think there's a whole week ahead of no rain. So these buildings are protecting the bathhouse with proper mosaics on the floor. Yeah, I did wonder why they'd built these modern, <laughs> modern buildings right on top of the Roman. Oh, you can see a bit. You can see a bit. I guess they open all this for school trips and things. Merlin is acting like a kid in a playground. It's so funny. It's so cute. Come on then. Have you seen that really creepy tree up there? It's like got a hand with long fingers. Look at that creepy tree. That's a proper creepy tree. <laughs> what do you mean to? Well, I, I left my camera in the car, so I'm afraid I didn't film any of it, but um, we just had a lovely meal in the Royal Oak. There's probably a million pubs called the Royal Oak, and I couldn't tell you what town we're at. I have to put it up on screen. <laughs> There's our van, just there, and this is the view. And the sun is just going down there. Isn't that just beautiful? And then we've got this field in the morning to walk Merlin round. Just lovely. Honestly, there is just nothing more lovely than an English summer's day. <laughs> an English summer's evening, perhaps. Yeah, just driving about today and all the scenery is just, just lovely. Oh, listen to those birds. Oh, and I've got to show you these trees. Look, they're weeping silver birch trees. Honestly, I would have loved this as a kid. Part the leaves. And then you've got like this secret camp underneath. How cool is this? And I planted a weeping silver birch in our garden and I really hope it does this. 
quite magical. <laughs> Good morning Merlin. Well, this is not a bad view to wake up to. And do you know what just happened when I missed filming it? A steam train just went along. I don't know if you can tell but there are tracks right at the bottom of this sort of mini field. And uh, a steam train just went past, puffing away. Look how lovely. <laughs> I can see the tree a bit better from this angle. Look at the way the trunk flops down. Good morning. Our first stop of the day is at Hales Abbey. Um, I really wanted to come here and I think it's a good job we've come here now rather than when we came a month ago because the poppies are out and they're growing on top of the abbey walls. So it's a 13th century abbey and obviously Henry VIII put a stop to it like he did with all of them. We sort of thought we'd come and have a look around here to begin our day. I do love old ruins, particularly when they have flowers growing out the top of them. Merlin's quite hungry. Merlin likes the cucumber. Sit. Well, we've just had a, a lunch and a nap. <laughs> so now we've come to Chesselton House, which was quite over the other side of the Cotswolds, actually. So we've now gone west. No, east. And we're just coming to a National Trust property. It's um, already three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm not really quite sure where the day went. We wanted to have a sort of easy going time, didn't we? We weren't rushing from one place to another to another. Plus it's Sunday, so a lot of the towns, the little shops will be shut and stuff anyway. It's always tricky to plan a Sunday because never knowing what's open and what's not. So a National Trust property is a good bet, although they do close still ridiculously early in the summer. I loved the way that the National Trust had actually decided to leave the house more or less how it was. I think they had to do some repairing work on the house when they took it over, but they've left things like the cracking wall plaster and the cracked ceilings and things like that to sort of keep that sense of how it was, how it how it was lived in, because apparently none of the families that took the took on the house had the money for refurbishment so that's why it's in quite a state of disrepair really but I love that it added to the romanticism so they found balls and shuttlecocks from when they used to play games in here in wet weather they used to play badminton and tennis and things <laughs> Well, I've been <laughs> trying to find a spot where there's nobody around so I could vlog and have a little chat, but it's so busy, so I don't know, people might come past. But this is a really lovely National Trust house, one of my favourites, actually. If you like Knoll House in Kent, then this is actually very similar, but on a smaller scale. And I love the way that they've um, kept it, like, 
decaying and unrefurbished, which is how it was like when the lady who owned it in 1991 handed it over to the National Trust. So all that ancient old furniture in there and all the tapestries and everything, that's exactly how she was living right up until 91 and all the families that owned it before. I, I yeah, really love looking at all those really old rooms. And, and uh, yeah, that lady also owned 20 cats and a parrot. <laughs> <laughs> she sounds like uh, quite a character. Well, I was uh, just literally kicked off my spot there. So funny, some people, some people, <laughs> they just, I've got my bag there, I'm sitting there, <laughs> they just come over, let's, let's just sit here, shall we? Oh well, never mind, never mind, I'll find somewhere else to vlog. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, another interesting thing was that even though the building is really like old, it's from the 16, early 1600s, same age as our house, same age as the beginning middle bit of our house. Um, there was an older house here before, but um, they blew it up because it was owned by one of the people involved in the gunpowder plot. So I thought that was an interesting little fact there. The government obviously weren't too happy with that and they blew up the house. Yeah, so I definitely recommend coming to Chesselton House if you can. It's popular, you have to get a timed ticket. We literally have just made it round to swap because we had to swap because of Merlin, obviously. Definitely one of my favourite National Trust places to come. Well, we thought we'd finish off the day. We were near Stowe on the Wold, and this is where we stopped last time. But it was bank holiday Monday, and all the shops were shut, and it was late in the day. So uh, we thought we'd come back. <laughs> we're actually meant to be coming back tomorrow because it's Sunday evening. So again, all the shops are shut. But we thought now would be a good time to find this door that you might have seen on Instagram where you've got two yew trees either side of this church door and yeah we've seen it a lot on Instagram so we thought well why not let's come and get our Instagram photo with which which we've now done there was a bit of a queue most people have gone now but yeah we think we got it I'll be, I'll be honest with you guys <laughs> I wouldn't make a special trip for it uh, if you're thinking of doing, getting that picture it's a bit underwhelming in real life in the photographs it does look like the door is in the trees but it's not i'll show you so yeah i mean i'm not saying it's not really pretty <laughs> so yeah this is it i really thought that the door was in the trees but it it's not but it does still look very cool very lord of the rings i have to say which i love and i love the way the roots are just coming right down like that that looks very cool Good morning, we've come to Stow in the World, like I said, uh, to have a look around the shops and the galleries. I've got very special treatment in one of the art galleries. I think they thought I was richer than I am. <laughs> also looked at this amazing place called Tara's Tara Antiques. It's one of those places where you think, yeah, a strange collection of things, but it goes right, let me show you. The entrance is here. So you think there's this little shop. It goes behind this gallery. So the corridor goes all the way down there. All these windows up here, so this huge house or building or whatever it was once so these are all little rooms and you just go exploring around these rooms and corridors it's quite amazing actually worth a visit but yeah it's a lovely town to have a look around lovely architecture as usual beautiful stone buildings and lots of li like little gifty shops you know and now we're off to Chipping Norton I think by the way there's the old stocks just here I may as well show you that as I'm standing right by it and with these beautiful buildings behind as well and there's an overview of the town Merlin Merlin oh, what is it had a little walk up there and back. Yeah, just a very, just very pleasant scenery. And we've had the door open here to let Merlin sit with his head in the wind. Yeah, a lovely view for lunch, so that was nice. 
So we stopped for lunch and a snooze, <laughs> as we uh, seem to be doing every day, sort of early afternoon, which is quite a nice little routine, actually. Before that, actually, I didn't film it. We went to Midsummer, no, I keep saying Midsummer Norton, Chipping Norton, which was um, definitely not worth filming. Not a tourist town. I'm sure it's lovely if you live there. I'm not going to diss it. I don't want to annoy anybody, but not a town worth going to visit really so now we're we're we've traveled east and we're at woodstock we're not doing blenheim palace because there are not very many places that dogs are allowed they can walk right around the park but that's about it and it's quite pricey it's quite a big place as well so we'd be separated for quite a while if we were doing the swapping over dog sitting thing so i've just had a look around woodstock I mean, it's five o'clock now, so a lot of places were shutting. The charity shops were shut already. And a lot of places just weren't open on Mondays. That seems to be a thing around here. Mondays and Tuesdays, a lot of places don't open at all. But yeah, it's so, so pretty. Go off the main road if you're visiting and go down Market Street. So down there, it's just absolutely lovely. Really pretty down there. I can't really show you very clearly <laughs> what it looks like. But yeah, really lovely. And there's a free Oxford Museum down there, which I think would be worth visiting. There was a lot of people there, but we didn't have time for that today. So now we are going to Kidlington. Do you keep saying last bus to Woodstock? Yeah, yeah me yeah. too. And Inspector Morse reference if, um, if you're wondering. <laughs> Is there a morse here? Looks like a dead body sort of place to me. Good morning. It's our last day of our little extended weekend away, which is um, always sad, but we've been really busy. <laughs> but last night we stayed by the canal and had a nice little walk with Merlin just before dinner and yeah it was a good night stop just there too and this morning we started off by going to Whitney it's a really nice town actually there's a lovely old market square area and some nice shops to pop in and out of not as touristy more local sort of a town but still with some nice architecture and things then after that <laughs> for some reason i had kelscott manor in my head i don't know why i wrote it in my notebook for my plan for the weekend we went to kelscott manor that isn't where we were supposed to go it was minster lovell manor hall anyway we were meant to go somewhere else so that was a bit of a disaster because we got there and it was closed anyway so then we sort of sort of looked at what we could do nearby where merlin could sort of stretch his legs and, and just do something else before heading home we found a national trust car park this nice sort of countryside walk just walking along the river thames past the locks a nice little spot to to break up the journey i am so so happy that this year we finally went exploring the Cotswolds. let me know if you've been there let me know which your favorite town or place to visit was there I loved Stone in the World, I loved Broadway, those were my two favourite towns. Chesselton House was definitely a highlight. So we were a bit limited because of course we had Merlin with us and it was pretty hot. We definitely couldn't leave him in the camper van on his own for a, for any length of time. It would be nice to go back in winter actually when we could do that and visit some of the places where dogs weren't welcome. That was a shame. A couple of the National Trust places up there, dogs weren't even allowed there at all. I loved the fact that it was free parking almost everywhere. I mean that's amazing. I absolutely loved that <laughs> as soon as you get there it just makes the town more welcoming and yeah the people were friendly highly recommend it if you've got the chance to go visit yourself well thank you for watching thank you for being here i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give the video a thumbs up and i'll see you again soon take care bye